Hey guys, it's Jenny here. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today it is currently Wednesday, March 2nd. I am indeed starting this late, like a day late and a dollar short, if you will. Um, I spent the night at Rachel's last night and we had a pretty eventful day. Uh, yes, I chopped my hair off yesterday. It was falling out anyway, so I figured why not help it along? It feels much better now. So this is going to be the start of a brand new reading vlog. It is actually... My hair is wanting to curl right now. Um, 11.40. So I still have a good hour, well, like two hours before I have to leave for work. So I still have to get up last week's vlog, but granted that it's March, we have some new reading plans. Um, this month is going to be my rereadathon. Um, so for what I'm thinking of starting at work tonight, I think since I'm going to be working and I am starting this vlog late, I kind of want to get out of the gate running. So I think I want to pick an audiobook, prefer preferably a shorter one. So it's between Kingdom of the Wicked and Cruel Prince. So whichever one of those is more easily accessible to me is what I will be reading. Um, but here is the March packet. We got TBR rereads, TBR new reads, and mostly all of these are, um, almost all of my new reads are just books that tie into these that I wanted to brush up on their predecessors before I got into them. And then we have my audiobook reads down here. My TBR is massive. There's like 20 plus books on here. So I have a really good amount of audiobooks this month. And then we have my page counts and like four pages of progress charts. So this is going to be a really fun um, month for the progress charts. Hopefully by the end of this, uh, we will have all of these filled out. But I guess we will see. Um, but with that being said, I did not come here for a reading update. I actually came here for a massive unboxing. See, when I got my first check for, from work, I decided what better reward than to go through and purchase a lot of my wish list. They all just came all at once. So I didn't even have to wait and like torture myself by waiting. So... A majority of this is from thrift books as you can see uh there's only one package from amazon so let's just get on into it i'm gonna grab my handy dandy skizzers for the amazon or thrift books because i am really not trying to dye my hands green right before work um this one is also from thrift books even though it's cardboard all of their books that ship brand new come in cardboard separately. So the book in question is A Touch of Malice by Scarlett Sinclair. Uh, this is the third book in the Hades and Persephone series. They wanted $35 for this on Amazon and I found it for $15 on Thrift Books. So Thrift Books, you're a G. I'm going to try to make this pretty quick because last week I had an hour and 45 minutes of footage last week. Um, because the vlog went longer, I wasn't gonna, like, just stop it with only three days left in the month. Next, we have one of the Vampire Academy books. This is Frostbite. Um, my friend Jocelyn is, well, has read the Vampire Academy books. She really liked them. And I saw that Julie Pleck, the girl who did, um, the, the lady who did, uh, oh my god, she adapted Vampire Diaries and the originals. So I just decided to, you know what, I'm just going to get them. I'm just going to get them. So I'm pretty sure that this is book um, two, perhaps. I thought the covers were going to be different, but that's fine. Because I guess that, that means that they match mine. Next, we have Fifty Shades Free. I have Fifty Shades 1 and 2. Are you shitting me right now? Oh my god, my mom's gonna lose her shit over that. Yeah, that was crazy. Um, I've been having this bluebird follow me around the the yard. It comes out to the barn and does chores with me. 
and I was calling for it back and forth. It was in the front yard and I was calling for it. It came out. And this bird, I'm shitting you not, just directly came to my window and like clung to the screen for a second, was looking right at me. Woo! Anyways, so I thrifted the first and second book of this, but funnily enough, I just went um, to a Goodwill yesterday and found the whole trilogy brand new for 99 cents. So now I have two sets of this series, two complete sets of this series. So anyways, and then I did get the second season of The Vampire Diaries. This is literally brand freaking new and I only paid $4 for it. All thrift books, I love you. So, I heard that there was rumors of them taking the Vampire Diaries off of Netflix. And I just decided to do the same thing that I did with Pretty Little Liars. And it's just collect the DVDs because the series is important to me. The Junk. What do we have here? Okay. Let's grab you first. I said let's grab you first. This is Shadow Kiss by Rochelle Mead. Um, this is book... What? This is book five. I went severely out of order. I think I was... I think I must have wanted all paperbacks or something. And then next we have My Dark Vanessa by Kate Elizabeth Russell. Um, I will be probably taking the library binding off of these. Just because, you know, we're going to try. I don't really want to damage it, but I hate when my books are library bound. So we're going we're gonna to see what we can do about it. But that is for a different time. So this has been on my wish list for a while. I heard a lot about it on Book Talk. Um, yeah. So there's that. Next we have another library book. Oh my god. Uh, we have The Diviners by Libba Bray. I don't know if you guys remember, but I was like going mad trying to find my copy of Diviners. And I never freaking found it. So I was just like, you know what? We're going to order a new one. And this looks like a special edition. Oh my god! I don't know anything about, like... I mean, I've read this one, but, like, is that a special edition cover? I know that this is, like, the original jacket for it. Oh, so, I don't know. But that's a beautiful book. And it's in pretty good condition, besides the stickers. It's a little dusty. And then lastly, from Thrift Books, I also have Lair of Dreams by Libba Bray, which is another library book. But this also looks like it's in impeccable dish condition besides that. Um, and the library stuff on the inside. I'm just trying to judge how hard it will be to take off the binding. This one's a little questionable. My Dark Vanessa shouldn't be bad, but that one's a little questionable. So that was everything that I got from Thrift Books. Um, I don't even know how many books this is right now. It's a lot. Nan's trying to get directly into the shot again. And then finally, we have my Amazon haul. I'm so excited. Ooh okay. First and foremost, we have The Righteous by Renee Adier. This is book three. And the Beautiful series, I think it's called. The Beautiful Quartet. So I think we're waiting for one more book. But I have this series on my rereads list for March. So I wanted the third book just to knock them all out. Bada bing, bada boom. And there's that. Vampires in New Orleans. And next we have A Strange Hymn by Laura Thalassa. This is book two in the Bargainer series. The, uh, Rhapsodic was the f second, first, first. It's either the first or the second book in that I read in January. So 
uh, it was high time that I pick up the sequel because I really did like the first book. And next we have Promises and Pomegranates by Sav R. Miller. Uh, I've been hearing really good things about this on TikTok. It's another Hades and Persephone's. It's called The Monsters and Muses Book 1. And I love the cover of this. I'm very excited to read it. Don't know if I mentioned this either, but my dad and I are going to put in shelves right behind here. It's going to be a little nerve-wracking having my most anticipated TBR right above my head while I sleep, but let's hope for the best. Wow, this is a big book. Next, we have Zodiac Academy, The Awakening by Caroline Peckham and Susan Valenti. Again, all over book talk, all over the internet right now. It's like all the rave, so I just had to finally see what the hell it was all about. So we shall see. And with that being said, this is my complete haul and I need to cut this short because holy cow, I still have a vlog to edit and upload. So I will check in with you guys next time I have an update. Like I said, I will probably either be listening to Cruel Prince or Kingdom of the Wicked at work. I don't know. You, I will check in with you guys tonight. Where are we? Okay. Hello. So it is just past 11 on Thursday, March 3rd. So I am off of work today. Sadie is at the vets getting fixed currently. Um, so last night at work, um, I'm a little bit out of it lately because I just got a new prescription and it's taking quite some time for my body to adjust to it. So I'm a little fuzzy, but last night at work, I did start Cruel Prince. I made it to chapter 12, page 105. So definitely not as far as I wanted to make it in there, but um, I was a little distracted. <laughs> I was a little out of it at work and I was pretty busy actually. So, tired so I would like to finish that today but I guess we'll just have to see um I did want to try to clean some of my some of the barn today and stuff like that we I have to call the vets about 1 30 they said to um see how Sadie's Sadie's doing and then they said probably about a 3 30 pickup so prints what color should we make it let's make it this gold color this seems pretty fitting well let's see other yeah we'll make it this gold so we are officially 100 pages in which means i can color in one of the brackets oh yeah this was your choice And honestly, um, I will say this, I'm enjoying the story, but for some reason, Jude is really annoying me in the first book. I think it's just, like, because she's so desperate for Maddox approval, and I am not a Maddox stan at all. I can't stand Oriana. And, you know, I can't stand Taryn either, so only Vivian, Jude. But Taryn, or not Taryn, Taryn always annoys me. But Jude, it's just like, I don't know, she's just like so eager to prove herself that, I don't know, I guess it does take some time for her character to develop, but I'm like, girl, honey, like, what are you doing? So here's where we're at so far. Um, yeah, like I said, I need to get out to the barn and... Uh, clean a little bit, take care of the bunnies, and then after that, I just have a vlog to get up and some laundry to fold. So, I figured I would give you guys that update, and I will check in 
later hey guys so it is actually only like it's like 9 30 on saturday the 5th so i have been pretty absent so far i have not done a lot of reading this month because i don't know i just haven't been feeling the best um adjusting to my new medication and I've been working a lot, so I've been really tired, um, so I've been pretty busy, so I actually have not made any more progress in Cruel Prints. Uh, I think I'm going to listen to the audiobook today before I go to work while I'm cleaning cages, and I'm going to try to listen to some of it at work as well, so I guess we'll just see how it goes, but <laughs> it's not starting out the best, especially considering the amount of books that are on my TBR. Um, obviously though, I didn't know, like, how my week was gonna go, or anything like that when I... When I started planning this list. So, I just wanted to give you a quick update, because I've been pretty absent. And I guess, um, I guess I'll check in whenever I have an update. As for the vlog, I know that I said I wanted to do a strict like week by week, but like if I don't have enough footage for week one, I might as well just extend it, you know? So, <sighs> we will see. I will check in later. Hey guys, so it is just about 11.20. I got most of my stuff done today. There's just a couple things I have to do, like do a little research, um, dust off my bookshelves, and then I do have to leave a little bit early for work to pick up my prescription. But I did make it to chapter 17, page 170, so almost halfway through this. I think I'm about 43 to 45% through this. So hopefully if all goes according to plan, I can listen to this at work tonight and finish it. So very short update, but since I haven't had many, I figured I would pop in real quick. Um, and yeah. I will check in with you guys later. Hey guys, so it is actually 1.13 on, I believe, let's see, assuming that my iPad is charged. 1.13 on Monday, March 7th. So technically this should be the end of a reading vlog. Um, I'm going to try to finish the book that I'm reading today and then I'll probably end it. So this is going to be a short vlog. But I kind of just want to keep up with the consistency of doing a week and then ending it, you know, um, so that I, the footage doesn't get too overwhelming to export. So I do have a pretty lengthy update, though, so maybe that'll make up for it. I have a small haul. Um, so first and foremost, I haven't updated the past couple days. Uh, last night, you know what, we're going to do book updates last. But last night, Rachel spent the night and she's been binging all the Harry Potter movies, but I told her, listen, you can watch all of the rest on your own, but you have to let me watch Deathly Hallows Part 2 with you. And we did. She loved it. And she finally cried over a movie slash show. And it was when Snape died. So I felt, you know, pretty successful. She loved it so much. Um... And then this morning, we got woken up from a call from her, eight missed calls from her grandmother, who works at Kroger. And she goes, she sends like 10 pictures of Squishmallows at Kroger. And she goes, do you, do you want any of these? And Rachel's like, yeah. And then her grandma calls her and she goes, you should just come here like right now. And she's like, what do you mean? Like, I just woke up. And she's like, well, where are you right now? Or her grandma's like, where are you right now? And she's like, I'm at Jenna's. And... Her grandma was like, where does Jenna live? And Rachel's like, she lives here. And uh, her grandma's like, well, you got to get here in like five minutes. And Rachel's like, five minutes? We just woke up and she lives like 10 minutes from Kroger's. So we got up in the horrendous rainy weather to pick up Squishmallows. We get there and there's a bunch of five-inch Squishmallows. And her grandma said, buy as many as you want. There's no limit. So don't come for me for buying a shit ton of Squishmallows. Like, I am not a reseller. I bought these purely for my own enjoyment and for my personal collection. So the first one I got is another Malcolm. They had Malcolm in an 8 inch and he is my favorite Squishmallow. So I got him. Uh, so now here's what my Malcolm collection is looking like. We have 12 inch Malcolm, 8 inch Malcolm. 
And then Rachel bought me Sakina from Five Below when she went to Ann Arbor. So this is my little mushroom squad. They're so cute. I love them so much. And um, then just trying to see if there's any coupons. Mmm. That might be a good one. And then I got a bunch of five inches. So we got Wendy, the frog. We got Sophie, the sheep. And then we have Belena, the cow. She's so cute. And we have my personal favorite, Blake the bunny rabbit. So cute. I had to have this one when I saw it. I was like, you're coming home with me. So those were all the squish molds we got. And then I did actually stop at Barnes and Noble. We were like, cause we weren't planning to go out today. We were just like, no, we're just gonna sleep in and have a chill day and not spend any of our money. And then we got that call from her grandma. So we were like, you know what? We might as well go. So we got the Squishmallows and then the weather was so bad. We're like, I said, hey, you want to go to Barnes and Noble? Cause Rachel was talking about wanting to go. And she's like, well, I guess it's so crappy out. We might as well, since we're already out. So we went to Barnes and Noble. I got a couple of reads. So the first thing I got was Beach Read by Emily Henry. Um, all I know about this is that it's like about two authors who are polar opposites and they're like neighbors at rental beach houses and they both have writer's block and then they form this deal to force them out of their creative habits, their creative ruts. So I've heard a lot of good things about this. I bought her other book, um, what's it freaking called? The People We Meet, People We Meet on Vacation, something like that. And then these other two books I have heard are super popular on BookTok, but this author in particular is popular everywhere. BookTok, BookTube, you know what? So the first thing I got is It Happened One Summer by Tessa Bailey. From what I gather, this is about a like influencer who gets sent to this town um, to, you know, humble her and then she meets this fisherman and i don't know everybody is like really obsessed with this book right now and i thought that the cover was really cute so i'm on it and then the last thing i've heard a lot of things about this and it's fix her up by tessa bailey which is basically about the town clown who makes this deal with this ex major league baseball player to pretend that they're dating so that you know her family stops being so hard on her so I know that this is like a series. I can't remember what the other ones are. But I'm really excited for these. These should all be like really quick, easy reads. Um, and then the last update is that tomorrow we are going to get the supplies to start this bookshelf. And if all goes according to plan, we should be able to do the bookshelf tomorrow. And then I can decorate it, spice it up, no pun intended. And with that being said, now it is time to tell you guys what I actually did manage to read. So I am off to a bit of a late start for March. Um, I have a lot to read and I haven't been doing the best at it. So you guys know that I started Cruel Prince first. While at work yesterday, I finished it halfway through my shift. So this was so good. <laughs> this is so good. I forgot how much I really loved this series. I was like having a great time. So I finished that, gave it a five course, so we can color in this progress bar and rate it. And for the heck of it, I said, you know what, I still got half a shift left. Why not rent Wicked King as well? So I did. And here, let's, let's color this in. Sorry, my eyes are watering so bad because my fan is on. 
but there is a lot I have to do today so I figured I would just end this vlog after I finish my second book and then I can maybe get it up so don't don't knock my coloring skills I know they're horrendous and my hair looks horrible from being caught in the rain numerous times today so with that being said Cruel Prince is finished and if you haven't guessed by now, I started Wicked King. And, ooh, it's signed. Go me. I'm pretty sure that I am on chapter 17, page 153. So I'm like half through it. Oh, I need a bookmark. I silly do. Oh, I do have another haul for you guys. I don't know if I showed you this. So I ordered some book mail from my friend Melissa over at Sassy Ginger Book Obsession. And I got this bookmark. Savannah, no. It is a metal bookmark. It says rattle the stars. Or it says you could rattle the stars. So. Beautiful. I'm going to pop this in here. And then I also got this really beautiful puzzle. Front of glass. I love it. I think I want to do the puzzle and then like glue it and frame it and use it as decoration. Okay, back to the books. I'm gonna color in one square for Wicked King. Stop that. So my mom just called me and told me that the birthday party I went to yesterday, all of the kids are sick with the stomach flu from it. So, um, pray for me that I don't start violently vomiting in the next um, 24 to 48 hours because your girl has a phobia of vomiting. I am not a fan. I'm not a fan at all, actually. So this is what our progress looks like. Again, not the best for the amount of books on my TBR, but I'm hoping since they're mostly short reads, they're all like reads that I can get done in a day. Fingers crossed. Um, oh, I did not set that up very nicely, did I? I'll just do it by the page counts. Yeah, we have a lot, a lot of books on this TBR. But at least I have a lot of audiobooks. Um, not as many as I was just thinking. <laughs> well, we still got 10 more after I finish with these two. So we'll see. But that is an update. Um, I am going to go put in a load of laundry and then I have to begin cleaning my barn. And during that time, I am hoping to finish The Wicked King. And if I do, I will let you guys know, of course. And I will check in later. Hey guys, so it is 12.39 on Monday night. So before I close out this vlog, I did want to let you guys know that today, while I was finishing up some errands, I have worked my butt off today. Got most of the barn cleaned. I only have a couple cages left for tomorrow after I get my permit done. Um, oh, it's been a long day struggled for like two hours to put this tiny ass shelf up for my five inch squishmallows i've had it for so long and it's just been sitting as like a door stopper in my room and i took it upon myself to try and build it which i failed miserably at and after like an hour of me trying to do it myself my dad got summoned by all of the commotion and excessive swearing and then we proceeded to work on it for like another hour and a half until we got it up. That's cute. We'll see if they stay overnight. And I would like to say hello. Uh, I thought I would update you guys, let you know that Sadie is doing absolutely fantastic. Uh, her incision site has not been swollen at all. It looks great. And she is taking her medicine like an actual champion. They gave me three syringes full of like pain meds to make sure that the swelling stays down and that it doesn't get inflamed um 
and that's just like that she's not in any pain from her healing incision so she's doing phenomenal she's acting like her normal sweet sweet self and she actually willingly took her medicine this morning like i kid you not called her up she put she put the syringe in her mouth in the back of her mouth waited for me to push it down and then swallowed her medicine and sat in my lap i was like astounded so she's doing great and it's healing nicely so yeah and with that being said while i was doing all of that today i did finish wicked king i absolutely loved this five out of five stars this was so good the chokehold this series has on me right now oh my god it has me in such a chokehold right now phenomenal um anyways i am absolutely freaking exhausted like i can barely keep my eyes open when i was trying to edit this vlog so i am going to go right the heck to bed and this is actually going to be the end of this vlog uh it is a pretty short vlog it's i mean it's a normal length vlog i guess but it's short by my standards. Usually I have an hour long vlog, but this time it's only a half an hour because I was adjusting to my meds, which um, I am also doing much better with. These past couple days have been actually really productive and I felt really great. And I also have not had any anxiety since I started taking them. So I am feeling pretty good. Uh, so yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you next week for a hopefully more productive reading vlog.